guys, it's Juliet, and I'm really sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I just want to get that out there. I'm really sorry it's been a while. Um, yeah, I ordered a bunch of this stuff, like, two weeks ago, and then it never came. So I've been waiting a while, and I've just, like, been collecting all this stuff just to give you guys one huge collective haul. And I'm really sorry it has been a while, and I'm trying to be more consistent with my uploading. I'm really sorry about that. Oh, um, Band-Aid because of burning myself. Yes. Okay, so today's video is really exciting for me. I'm doing a beauty and makeup haul, and most of this stuff is online. So I ordered online from Urban Outfitters, Drugstore.com. I went to an actual, like, local drugstore, and then I went, to, where did I go? I went to Urban Outfitters in the store yesterday. So, um, another little disclaimer. Most of the stuff I bought, I bought with my own money. I had gift cards that I wanted to spend, so that's why I kind of went a little bit crazy. But anyway, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so first I went to my local drugstore, and I would have the bag, but I threw it away because this was like two weeks ago. Um, anyway, so the first thing I got was this Birch Bees Naturally Nourishing um, Body Lotion. This is the Milk and Honey scent. Oh my gosh. It smells like subtle, but it's still kind of sweet. So this is what it looks like. And I love showing you guys the packaging. I just think Birch Bees is really cute like packaging and I really like their stuff because it's really gentle and it works really nicely on my skin. The next thing I got is this Ology um, moisturizer and I'm not a huge fan of this. I think it was making me break out so I stopped using it for a while. It'll let you guys know like a full review if you want. So this makes my skin really pale and white so with uh, it has sunscreen in it so it's part probably why but yeah this is the packaging. It's just a facial moisturizer, and it comes with a little pump, and there's, like, a lot of product in here. I don't know if it's making me break out or if it's just, like, what I was using as, along with this. So I'm not really sure how I feel about this, but I, I'm about to run out of moisturizer, so it's good to have as, like, a safety, I guess. And the last thing I got from my drugstore was a Maybelline eyeshadow palette, and this palette is in Lavender Smokes. It just comes with two little sponge applicator things, and then... First color right here is like a very pale pink, like a light lavender, and then that's like the color of my walls, except it's shimmery, it's like a dark purple, and then this is a gray with purple undertones, and then just a like burgundy, darker burgundy color. Very deep purple. So I've been wanting a palette like this for the longest time, so I'm really happy I got that. Alright, next I went to drugstore.com, and I wouldn't show you guys box, but I don't want to give away like my shipping stuff, because no. Anyway, so I got makeup products here, and they have such cheaper prices than, like, actual drugstores. It's insane. Like, I got this foundation that was $13 at my drugstore and then $6 online. It was, like, insane. You guys have to check it out. I'll link it down below. It's amazing. But enough of me over-raving this website. So the first thing I got was this Burt's Bees um, Natural Skin Essentials Facial Cleansing Towelettes with White Tea Extract. And it just looks like this, and it just removes oil, makeup, dirt, and stuff like that. They smell really nice. I've used a few of them, actually, because, you know. Um, pack of 30 for, like, $5. It's such a good deal. And, um, yeah, I just really like Burt's Bees, like I said before. Very natural on my skin, and that's what I really like about it. So I'm really happy I got these. Okay, next I got a concealer, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm in the shade Fair. Um, I'm really pale, by the way. So this is what the concealer looks like. It just got a doe foot applicator, and then it comes with a lot of product. So concealers last me like a, like six months, so I'm really happy I got a new concealer because I ran out of my old one. So um, yeah, new concealer. Good. Um, next I got a powder, and this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lusting Pressed Powder. I said that really weirdly, but this is it. You've all seen this. It has a little Rimmel crown on it. I think that's kind of cool. I am in the transparent shade, so this is the perfect shade. Okay, next I got a lipstick, and this is the Maybelline, um, the Color Whisper. So this is in One Size Fits Pearl, and it's a really, really pretty peachy nude color and it is not very it is very sheer as you can see it's a really sheer color and I really like this I think it's really pretty great everyday color for the spring next I got something that I've been wanting for the longest time so this is the great lash clear mascara and it's like gel it's literally gel it's amazing actually so I use it for my brows to just shape them because I don't really like filling them in 
And what I do with this is I found that using it as mascara doesn't really give you full length, but if you're going for like a no makeup look, um, if you guys want me to do one of those, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Um, anyway, so if they really divide your lashes really nicely, it makes them look fuller. So that's what I really like about this product. Then what I recommend doing is using this as a primer and then putting a mascara over it. And I've done that before. I didn't do it today, but it looks so nice. It completely like separates your lashes. There's like no clumps and it stays in like the whole time because this is gel so it like forms so i do like this actually and i think it's a really good product and the last thing i got was something that everybody's heard of this is the covergirl outlast stay fabulous foundation i've heard so many nice things about this so i wanted to try it and this is what it looks like it just comes with a pump which is amazing so i'm in classic ivory because i am pale as a ghost and this is such a nice foundation. I don't like to do full coverage looks with this because I don't personally need a lot of coverage. I don't really... It looks like I have really bad redness right now, but I'm just sunburned. It was really hot out today. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't really need too much, like, acne coverage. I've heard that this is really good for that, but, like, I have, like, I get a pimple occasionally. So, I'm not too, like, concerned about covering up my skin so I like to put a nice light coverage look on this so that's what I use and I really like how this looks I've tried it a couple times it stays on the whole day and it's just such a nice foundation and finally I went to Urban Outfitters so I'm going to show you guys the stuff I got online first and then I'll show you what I got in the store yesterday actually so I'm just going to show you guys so my hair is not looking so great right now and yeah this happens to me all the time like my hair just gets kind of like disgusting so i needed something to kind of make it look a little bit more presentable so i got the new batiste dry shampoo and this is the fruity and cheeky cherry one and um yeah i just looked up dry shampoo on a outfitters because i knew they had some and this was the first one that popped up so i saw some nice reviews about this and it cons and considering it was new i was just like you know what I'm just gonna try it see if I like it. It smells really nice. I love this. It's so cute and I like all the cherries around it. Okay, next I got a brush set online because I needed some brushes. I was very limited on my brushes so I wanted to get some more. So this is the Stila Tools of the Trade brush set and I'm just gonna show you guys each brush. So the first one is a Stila 24 brush and it's just a blush brush. These are super soft by the way. Next one is a Stila 33B brush and this is a concealer brush. I'm using it with my new concealer, so it works really well. And then this is the Stila Number no. Five brush. It's just an all-over, really soft shadow brush. And then I got a Stila Number no. Nine brush, and I didn't actually have an eyeshadow blending brush, so I really wanted one. This is what it looks like. It's really soft. Yeah, I love this. And then I got a Stila Number no. Four brush, which is a lip brush, and this is the like stiffest out of all of them. I think these brushes are really good. They're really good quality. And I am really happy with them. Okay, the next thing I got was an eye pencil. And this is the NYX Wonder Pencil. And it's just a nude color. Can you see that? I hope you can. Anyway, it's just a nude eyeliner just for my waterline. So it'll brighten my eyes up a little bit. And finally online, I got the BH Cosmetics Rose Blush Duo. And just look at the packaging. It's adorable. Basically, on the front, there's just like a mirror. So I'll come that up for you guys. And then... There are the two blushes. This is a darker, more magenta color, and then this one's like a peachy color. And I use this on my apples and then this to highlight my cheekbone. Finally, I went to Urban Outfitters in the store yesterday, and I also got something else, but I'm going to do a separate, like, clothing haul, because I hauled, I got a bunch of clothing recently. So, yeah, this is the Not Your Mother's Beach Bathe texturizing sea salt spray and this is what it looks like i think it's so cute i've never tried any of their stuff i really wanted to try this because i've heard some great things about it and i know that this adds texture to your hair and like nice waves i like this so far i think this will work really well so that was it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm so sorry it's been a while since i uploaded um new subscribers would be down below um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so let me know down below which guys you want to see and that is all for this video. I hope you guys have a great day or night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!